at the VHS Little Dogs on the Prairie Pride Love Lollipop VHS. They are Christian Kids VHS, and they are a little bit harder to find. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about 26 of my bread and butter bolos that I sold on eBay. Items I sold for $35 or less. These are easier to find items that you may walk past. I pick these items up at garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores, Facebook marketplace, YouTube auctions, you name it, I'll source it. All right, let's get started with the first item here. And again, I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. Uh, this is a vintage play school dollhouse tree sh shrubs. They're like bushes, plants, you know, little different things like this that hook on, I believe, to the dollhouse. I think it actually came off of the play school dollhouse. I ended up selling these for $13.32 plus shipping. I always pick up dollhouse furniture for like Loving Family, Fisher Price, Play School, uh, Little Tykes, all of those. A lot of them are bread and butter, but they're easy to list, easy to ship, and I love selling stuff like this. The next item I sold is this vintage 1998 Briar Berry Collection Fisher Price school set. I always pick up anything that's new old stock. Um, vintage items in the original packaging and if it's a good price i don't overpay i search comps but even if it's going to be something that's going to take a little longer to sell i'm willing to sit on the items um i i just i don't get too caught up in the sell-through rate i'm very patient um it really depends on your business model how much space you have um what you like to sell some people will only source things that are they can sell for $50 or more. Maybe they have limited space and they only sell jewelry. You have to figure out what works for you. This item actually sold quicker than I expected. I got it at a garage sale for $1 and I sold it for $37 plus shipping. Um, this one should not be in this video because this is 35 or less. So that's all right. You got a little extra couple bucks on that one. The next item is this vintage mermaid Barbie tail. This one came from a thrift store and I got, I think, a bundle of Barbie clothes. I ended up taking a best offer of $10 on this and the buyer was all in for $15.80. All right, this is a Disney official trading pin. I always pick these up when I see them if they are cheap. Most of these are going to be bread and butter. Uh, these came from a garage sale. I bought a whole bunch of them. I just, he had like a little box full and I just bought them all. And I ended up selling this for a best offer of $9 plus shipping. The next item here are these Vintage Santa's World Kurt Adler 10 Old fa Fashioned Street Lamp Lights. People use these for like their little villages and stuff like that. And, you know, I plugged them in to show they work and that they come with the original box. I got these out of a mystery box, a thrift store Christmas mystery box, and I sold these for $20 plus shipping. And I do have question mark beside mystery box, but I'm pretty sure that's where they came from. This here is a Black Comb Mountain Ski Resort skiing lapel pin. And this is one of those where it's probably going to be a long tail item unless you get lucky and somebody just happens to be looking for this skiing pin. It actually sold quicker than I expected. I got it at a garage sale for a quarter and it sold for asking price sale price of $8.40 plus shipping. The next item here is this Transformers Dark of the Moon Bumblebee Vehicle. I got this out of a thrift store mystery box, took a best offer of $6 plus shipping. So that is a major bread and butter. But again, toys are so easy to list. And I can't remember if I did a video on this one. Nope. Uh, sometimes I do videos on these little Transformers and uh, they do actually pretty well over on YouTube. I have those over on my reseller testing Bolo products channel. The next item, I believe this came on a stuffed animal and I'm like, oh, nope, I'm going to sell that. I'm going to sell that separately. So sometimes people dress like their dolls and their stuffed animals and actually, actually, in actual kids clothing. This was a 12 month dress and it's got a little sailboat on it. And I just thought it was cute. The brand is Cradle Togs. And I think I had about 50 cents in this. 
and I sold it for a best offer of 10 plus shipping. This one right here is a major bread and butter. I got this out of a mystery toy box from Auctions for You. Typically, I would not source something like this. I would not even list it, but I was trying to list everything in the box as much as I could to maximize my profits. And if you want to see that unboxing, I got some really great stuff in that box. But this little item was just kind of lingering. And I'm like, somebody is looking for the ladybug block. I'm going to list it. And it sold. I cannot believe it sold. So that teaches me that take the time to list these things because somebody needs it. Lego Duplo. It's um, $19.99 stack and learn. It's a replacement ladybug block. I sold it for $4.90, 30% off sale plus shipping. So they were all in for $10.39 for a single little block. The next item are these little people replacement farm figures. That's got the pig, sheep, the chicken, and the farmer from 2001. I got these at the Goodwill bins and I took a best offer of $8 plus shipping. They were definitely in played with conditions, scuffs and marks and, you know, not, not perfect played with. So I did take a little less for those. The next item is this Paw Patrol Rocky Sea Patrol vehicle and figure. The Sea Patrol items, I feel like they sell a little quicker. Ended up selling this for $15 plus shipping. It sold pretty quickly and I got this at the Goodwill bins as well. The next item is this Flying Witch Halloween ornament on a broomstick here. Got her out of a thrift store mystery box. Anything that's Halloween, I typically will pick up if it's pretty cool like this. But this came out of a mystery box, so I didn't even source this. But I did decide to list it. Sold it for $12 plus shipping. That was a best offer. This right here was sold to a prop department. And they bought it and then said they needed it like in a couple days. And it was first class. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to have to relist that for you and put priority mail on it. And they ended up paying $15 for this plus shipping, priority mail shipping. And I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents. It's a vintage Gerber soft bite spoon dated 1987, new old stock. The next item is this Boyd's Yesterday's Child Kathy and Miranda first trick or treat figurine. This is a Boyd's, um, so you know, like Boyd's Bears, the plush. I typically do not source the figurines. I have some that I have been sitting on for years. However, the Halloween and some of the different themed ones have done pretty well for me. This actually came out of a thrift store mystery box. Um, I believe it was a Halloween box. And I ended up selling this for a best offer of $27 plus shipping. So should you pick these up? I would say if you can get them cheap, definitely search them right here on the bottom. It's going to tell you exactly what to look up on eBay. These are very easy to look up and search solds. See how many are listed. See how many have sold. Figure out how patient you want to be. And if the cost of goods is cheap, then I say go for it. But if it's Halloween, I would definitely pick those up. The next item is this yellow uh, horse belt. It's got the little horse figures on it here. Pick this up at a garage sale. And I think it was like 50 cents or a buck. And I sold this for a best offer of $15 plus shipping. The next item is this DKNY dress. Uh, I paid a dollar for this at a thrift store and I should have whited out the background because it would have made the dress pop more, but I was being very, very lazy because I hate listing clothes. Um, I don't like to list clothes anymore. I used to be a full-time clothing reseller, which is hilarious to me now because I did it for like 10 years. That's all I sold was clothes, like pictures, mannequins, measurements. I loved it. And now I'd like, no, I don't want to do clothes. I'm all hard goods pretty much. But this dress ended up selling really quick and it's DKNY. I think it's just a cool dress and at thrift store a dollar. And I ended up taking a best offer of 30 bucks for that plus shipping. The next item are these Victoria's Secret Silver Plush Dog Mini Plush Ornaments. These were in a Goodwill Bins video that I did. They walked out um, with a bin and it was full of Victoria's Secret Plush Dogs. These ornaments. Go check out that video. Oh my goodness. Um, I had a bunch of the dogs in my uh, cart. Oh, I sold something. Ooh. I sold something good. I'll show you guys. I'll try to remember to show you at the end of the video. It's a bolo. Um, 
But anyway, I had a bunch of the plush, like just the standard plush in my cart. And I'm like, you know, I have some of these listed and they just have not been selling. And I think I have them in lots. So maybe I should have sold them individually, but I ended up passing those off to somebody else. Uh, somebody said somebody didn't get any and I just took them over to them and asked them if they wanted them. But I did keep, I think, four or five of these. They have all sold. I sold out of them. I had some others in my cart that I gave away. And now I'm like, oh, I should have kept or I should have got more of them. But I sold this for $12 plus shipping. The next item here also came from the Goodwill bins. I just thought it was funny and cool and just a different item. Look at their little um, hair pieces. They're like braided out. Really, really fun item. Uh, vintage Chinese silk pin cushion, Asian children holding hands. I got this at the Goodwill bins, cost of goods, probably 50 cents, sold it for $8.50 on best offer and the buyer paid shipping. This is the Fisher Price Think and Learn Caterpillar, Caterpillar replacement pieces. I got this at a garage sale for $5. It did have the head and the body, but it wasn't functioning uh, correctly, that part. So I went ahead and parted it out and I sold these for $19.60 plus shipping. If you have the entire thing, you can get anywhere from $30 to $45, depending on how many are listed and what the market's doing. Vintage Crown Trafari signed necklace choker statement piece. I got this at an estate sale for $3 and I ended up taking a best offer of $32 plus shipping. This right here was a surprise. Um, I did Google image and found out this, this is a Toki Doki Unicorno Yuki light blue snowflake figure. And I've sold actually more than one of these and the, I, they, they do really good and I sell them individually. So definitely if you see this little guy, look it up. Uh, I took a best offer of $10 and 50 cents on this. I paid about 15 cents for it at a thrift store. It was like in a little baggie of toys and the buyer was all in for 15 88. This is a 2001 Leapfrog Twist and Shout Subtraction Math Learning Game. And I got this at a garage sale for $2 and I sold it for $18.63 plus shipping. The next item is this Cacique Brawl. I picked this up at a Goodwill and I paid $3 for it. This is a brand that I used to sell all the time when I did clothing. Um, I would actually retail arbitrage these items from the website. And then I also had a discount store that I would pick these up from. I mean, I have sold probably thousands of these brawls in this brand. It used to be like my thing. So when I saw this at the Goodwill for three bucks, I scooped it up. It's a good size, big plus size brawls do fantastic. It's really, really pretty. And that tag looks like it hasn't even been washed. Um, Ended up selling this for $18 plus shipping. And I know Carrie from Be Carried Away. If you haven't checked out her YouTube channel, definitely go check her out. She is fantastic with vintage clothing, like keywords, her titles. She's very descriptive. She also sells vintage hard goods, but she is definitely a bolo finder. But I know that she has found some brawls recently that she's done well with as well. The next item is this lot of seven vintage match, Matchbox Lindsay vehicles made in England. I ended up selling these for $24 plus shipping, and I got these at a garage sale for $3. The next item are these peekaboo blocks. I always pick up the Fisher, Ply, Fry, pff, sorry, the Fisher Price peekaboo blocks. They do really good for me. These are like stacking sensory toys. There's 22 of them here. I dug these out of the Goodwill bins and I took a best offer of $20 plus shipping and they sold really quickly. The next item I got for free at a thrift store. What they do is if things don't sell inside their store or if they think the items do not have value, they put them outside in totes for people to just take for free. Now, Whenever I get anything out of the free bin, I always give them extra money when I pay. I usually just give them extra when I pay anyway, because it's a nonprofit. Um, it, it's a local like charity. They help um, people locally. So it's, a, it's something that I want to give to anyway. So I always throw them some extra money, but I definitely throw extra, extra if I get stuff out of the free box, because I know I'm going to resell it. So 
Um, I sold these for $31.05. Uh, the buyer was all in for $35.50. These are at the VHS Little Dogs on the Prairie Pride Love Lollipop VHS. They are Christian Kids VHS, and they are a little bit harder to find. So I was really, really excited when I looked up comparables on those, and I will definitely be looking out for those in the future. All right, let's look at what I sold. Okay, um, let me go into eBay. This was an auction, and it ended as we were live. I didn't even know I had a bid. I think that it came in like towards the end. Nobody bid against them. This is a vintage grandmother's flower garden quilt. It's a quilt topper and it's damaged. So it is for crafters. It says TLC and read. And I ended up selling this for $74.99 on auction. I don't know if auction is the way to go for something like this, if I should have done a buy it now. If anybody that sells this type of thing wants to give me some feedback, it had some stains and some holes, but overall, I mean, really cool handmade piece. Like here, I've got a picture right here of where the stitching is coming loose. So I tried to show some of the defects and stuff. I'm really happy with $74.99. That one came from a garage sale. Um, I paid $5 for that. So $5 into $74.99. I'm really happy with that. And I talked about this in another video. Um, I picked up that and then a small quilt that I still have listed that has a stain on it, but really cool, like country look, red, white, and blue. And then there were two like big quilts. And I want to say I paid... 30 or 35 for all of them. And my husband and I like old quilts. So we decided to keep two of them. So will they get listed eventually? Maybe, but for now we're going to hang on to them. All right, you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. If you hit that little bell, that's going to alert you when I post new videos. Um, I also have videos on items that I sell on Poshmark, hard goods over there, and items that I sell on Mercari. If you want to check that out, um, they're separate what sold videos. And then I have my big money what sold videos also. So items that I sell for higher dollar. These are all bread and butter here. Um, I use List Perfectly to cross post. If you want to check out a demo video, there's one down below. If you check it out and you decide you want to try it, you can use coupon referral code BOLO Buddies, all one word. And I am going to be selling on whatnot by the time you see this video. I don't know if I'll have already sold over there or not, but follow me, BOLO Buddies over on whatnot. If you haven't signed up for whatnot, I have a link down below and you can use that to sign up and you'll get a $10 credit. So um, excited about that, nervous about that, oh, but I'm going to try it. So we'll see how it goes. Thank you guys so much for being here and thanks for watching.